My name is Madeline Anderson, and I got to know Scott over the last couple of years, and I had a deep respect for him and his work, and I grew to really depend upon him. He's going to be greatly missed. Every time I attend a funeral, I think of those I've attended in the past, and I realize that this one is different. Most of the others were for people who were in their 80s or their 90s. None of them died because they didn't have health care, because they had Medicare. And if we had Medicare for all, maybe Scott would have had the chance to grow old, too. Scott continued working all through his last days. I was very concerned when he didn't attend the most recent Our Revolution group, but he just told me that he was having compl complications and that he was working on an article. He published it just four days before his death. In it, he encouraged us to unite behind Kathy Glossom and Pete Delisandro, supporters of Medicare for All, who are with us here today. Through his writings, we know a lot about what Scott thought about current events, political issues, and social issues, but we know much, much less about his personal life because it just wasn't something that he spoke of often. He was focused on other people and their needs. Even his longtime friends couldn't give us many details. And this makes it all the more poignant that he shared the story of his health problems with us and how a for-profit healthcare industry had failed him. He knew it is not the facts and the figures, but the personal stories our individual struggles and speaking our truths that can move hearts and change minds. Though Scott knew his fight was over, even from his deathbed, he continued speaking out, fighting for us. I know there are people who believe that we can't win against the moneyed interest, but I don't believe that's true. We have a voice, we have a vote, and we have power. The political revolution continues. Scott's last words from his final article published just days before his death echo now, even from his grave. I believe that one day we will have single-payer health care, and nobody will ever have to go without health care again as I did. Pass Medicare for all now. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh.